This afternoon, I want to talk just a little bit about the Workday Snap Pack uh, here at SnapLogic. The Workday Snap Pack uh, is very helpful for using, for integrations with uh, the best of breed human capital management or HR software Workday. We find it in use uh, cases for onboarding and offboarding, uh, and it's very helpful for uh, uh, enterprises to connect that particular cloud software with a number of different analytics software, financial packages as well. Uh, in as they're building out their digital transformation strategy. So Workday is also a little bit complicated. They, unlike some other cloud providers, have uh, a SOAP XML based interface. And that's a little bit uh, less common uh, in the IT environment right now. Uh, what SnapLogic has done with this Snap Pack, though, is made it really simple to access that data out of uh, Workday without having to learn all of that uh, SOAP XML. All right, so we've got three write snaps and one read snap. I'm just gonna give you a quick example of a read snap here. Like the rest of our uh, uh, snaps that access uh, cloud accounts, we choose an account and Snap Logic will do the work to actually go out and introspect the service that's available using that account, and we can pull back some data for it. So I'm gonna choose the human resources service in this case, and I'm gonna go ahead and go get the workers. All right, when I save those settings on that Snap, Snap Logic's platform automatically goes out and validates the pipeline, and I should get some data that I can review uh, as an integrator to make sure my transformations are happening the way I want them to happen. Uh, you'll also see in this shadow here, the AI engine Iris has made a suggestion for the next snap to use. It does this based on my own preferences. So I use the mapper snap quite a bit. So that was the first one that was offered. But if I scroll up and down on the uh, snap, I've get the, I get other options as well. So the retrieval is completed and we've got some sample data for our workers. And we can see that here in a table format as soon as it loads. There we go. There we go. And again, if uh, you've worked with XML in the past, you know that it is pretty heavy on a lot of the identifier details as well. Uh, but we can simplify that as well. And I'm gonna show that to you in an actual pipeline uh, where we're pulling back some of that workday information and doing multiple things with this. So this is uh, a a use case for onboarding where uh, workers are actually assigned in Workday. Uh, and we're doing multiple things here. We're putting them into a learning management system through Oracle. We are adding them as internal leads in Salesforce, so that way they might be able to get an employee discount or uh, you know, a discount at the cafeteria if it's a university or something like that. And then we might have a file writer as well to get their name uh, and title into a uh, web page to welcome new hires. So that's kind of the use case here, and that's one of the beautiful things about Snap Logic is that you can fulfill multiple use cases with a single pipeline uh, using all our uh, all our snaps. So, like our previous example here, I've got an example where I get the workers, I split them off, and then I copy the worker data in a tabular format. So you remember I started off with that a very complicated XML structure here. And now when I look at it, we've got a nice little table. The integrator knows what they're working with uh, and downstream systems know what they're working with as well. And you can see this copy snap is a transformation snap. And what it does is just copy the same data for the multiple outputs, whether it's Oracle, Salesforce, or a file to be written. Now, one of the cool things about SnapLogic as well is that it's very easy to maintain these pipelines as well. Uh, let's say that we actually have to add these users to um, uh, a single sign-on system or the Active Directory systems here. It's very easy for me to go in here and add another output to my copy snap. And I can drag over whatever LDAP uh, snap I need to, for example. I'm gonna add one view for it to connect up here. And I can connect it to my pipeline just like that with the click. 
So we can see that that data should also be coming out here as well. So that data will be ready, that user ID, work ID, first name. That's the extensibility. That's what really makes Snap Logic pipelines easy to maintain uh, and grow your enterprise with. If you're curious how to learn more about how to get started with Snap Logic, sign up for a free trial or request a demo, and our team will be in touch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.